Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you're having a great morning this morning. It is Saturday morning. As always, a coffee kind of morning. Cheers, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, here today to enter a contest uh, for the wonderful Richard McCook. Uh, I've been following Richard ever since I think I've been on YouTube. Amazing, amazing channel. Um, and uh, I'm going to put a link below to his channel. Please go and like and subscribe and leave wonderful, wonderful comments to uh, Richard. He's got hosting a third contest. Uh, it's a quarter or 2.5 out of 10 or 25% or 1 in 4 contest. Uh, I'm not really sure what that means. And he that's part of the uh, questions is to try and figure out what that means. But I'll explain that in just a second. Uh, the rules, obviously, you have to be subscribed to Richard's channel. Uh, make a video and leave a comment. Not a link to your video, but leave a comment in uh, Richard's contest video and let him know that you've made your video. Uh, the draws, uh, sorry, the contest runs until August 4th, uh, next month, actually next week. And um, it's going to be drawn on the 5th of August, uh, which is the following Saturday. Uh, it's for 50 pounds uh, on PayPal or the equivalent and if you don't uh, have a PayPal, I think he said you can do Amazon um, a gift card or something like that. I'm not sure. But um, pretty uh, uh, substantial and generous um, uh, contest um, reward. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So there's uh, three questions or three parts to this plus a bonus question. Uh, so you, you, he wants us to name four uh, albums um, eponymously titled uh, and uh, talk briefly about each album uh, or eponymously or self-titled albums and uh, also explain which is your favorite. Then uh, show um, an album in the title that uh, uh, has the longest title in your collection and how many characters are in that title and uh, show an album with the least amount of characters in, uh, in the title. Uh, and the fourth bonus question is again on that quarter contest and what you think the answer is. Uh, if you make an attempt he will recognize that. Uh, it's just, just a bonus question you're not uh, obligated to answer that question. I'm going to try and make an attempt uh, I'm not sure if it's right or not, but uh, let's get going. So, right off the bat, um, this is Foghat's debut album, self-titled debut. It's on the Bearsville label. Uh, I love Foghat. Uh, great uh, slide guitar by Rod Price, and that's bluesy. It's hard rock. Uh, released in 1972. Uh, Todd Rundgren. Uh, plays piano on one of the tracks, Trouble Trouble. Fine, fine album, Foghat. Um, with better things to come. Not that this is a bad album. This is actually a great album. But uh, that's my first Foghat. Um, hard rock band from um, da -da 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 -da. New Orleans. This is Zebra. Again, this happens to be their debut album. Uh, it's on the Atlantic label. Um, Power Trio, 1983 debut. Um, two fairly successful singles off this one, Who's Behind the Door and Tell Me What You Want. And um, also uh, um, the song uh, Take Your Fingers Out of My Hair was actually covered by Dream Theater. So not a bad album at all. Zebra is a pretty cool album. Pretty cool album. Um, Bad Figure, self-titled Bad Finger. Um, you know, Bad Finger had such a tragic story for such a great band um, with financial woes and uh, just everything that they went through. Uh, it was unfortunate, and I'm not going to go into that part of it. I want to keep this positive, but such a tragic story of an amazing amazing band um this is uh 19 
uh, 74 self-titled Bad Finger, their sixth studio album. Not quite as good as their others, but I find it's a decent album. I find it's a decent album for sure. Bad Finger, sixth studio album. And this is the debut album by Yes. Uh, this is the U.S. cover, 1969 release. Okay. Uh, features John Anderson, uh, Peter Banks, Chris Squire, Tony Kaye, and Bill Bruford. Uh, great introduction to the band, for sure. Uh, they do a cover of The Birds, I See You, and they do a cover of The Beatles, Every uh, Little Thing. Um, but a uh, great, great album. You got also got Beyond and Before, Yesterday and Today, Looking Around, Harold Land, Every Little Thing, Sweetness and Survival. Uh, the great Bill Bruford on drums, Tony K on keyboards, Peter Banks on guitar and vocals, Chris Squire on bass and vocals, and John Anderson, obviously the lead singer. Uh, amazing, amazing stuff. But uh, out of the four, I would have to say my favorite is, is Foghat, for sure. I love all the others, but this is just... Foghat being one of my favorite bands, of course, but still, great, great stuff. Um, the shortest title, maybe I'm mixing this rank up or this, this order up, but the shortest title I have in my collection is Jethro Tull's A. Okay. Um, A is the... Uh, uh, 1980 um, release um, of this album. It was supposed to be a single, uh, sorry, uh, supposed to be a solo album by John Anderson, or John Anderson, <laughs> Ian Anderson, Johnson with yes. Uh, it was supposed to be a solo um, uh, release by Ian Anderson, and the tapes are actually marked A for Anderson, of course. <clears throat> but then they decided to make a tall album. Uh, more synthesizers on this one, uh, but still a great album. Uh, apparently, Ian Anderson kind of regretted that it became a Jethro Tull album. He would have preferred it to be a solo album, but the uh, management and production company wanted it to be a Jethro Tull album. Uh, I also have the uh, remastered um, deluxe version of this, the box set of this on uh, CD. But uh, great album. It's a good album for sure. But A is my shortest title. Uh, I tried to find the longest title. And uh, I know Richard McCook showed, not this album, but he showed, um, I believe, T-Rex's first album. Or one of their early albums. But um, this is Mark Bowman and T-Rex. Uh, the Zinc Alloy and the Hidden Riders of Tomorrow. There's 37 characters in this one, and uh, I love the album, actually. It's a great, great album. I love anything T-Rex and Mark Bowman. Just unique, classic. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That's my longest title. Uh, I was going to show um, another one, but I felt this one was... Uh, I think maybe other people have shown that other one, but I won't. I won't name the title. So, as far as the bonus question, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It uh, talks about a quarter contest. Uh, I'm thinking perhaps uh, as he, Richard, <clears throat> pardon me, excuse me for a second. As um, Richard is about 1,500 subscribers, Perhaps he's hit the quarter mark, and maybe his goal is uh, six thousand, which would be um, what so fifteen hundred would be the quarter of six thousand subscribers. Maybe that's his uh, long-term goal to reach the six thousand subscribers. Uh, it makes sense, and uh, I'm sure he'll he'll be able to do that. But that's the only thing I can think of uh, is that it has something to do with the subscribers and um, obviously when you do a contest that's your goal of a contest is to increase your subscriber um, content and, and count so if I'm wrong Richard I, I I'm sorry I, I'm trying to give an attempt here but um, that's what I think it may be as far as 
you've reached that goal and it's a great goal you guys you you're got you've got such a great channel so you've reached a quarter mark of your long-term goal perhaps that's my thought anyway so again uh great contest richard um i'm going to leave the link below to his channel and the contest uh video uh please enter please like please like uh, and subscribe and leave wonderful wonderful comments to richard I wish everyone uh, great luck and, and success in the contest. And I'm looking forward to seeing other people's videos on this one. Have yourself a great day. Love you all. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye now.